Hi guys, I've just received this nice Aeon Pultec plug and this triggered me to do some uh, short updates regarding what's happening in Aeon network ecosystem. So please stay with me for the next uh, couple of minutes. Uh, some interesting stuff on the horizon. time video in English because of Ion Pultec plug. Ion Pultec plug it's something I will explain in this material and a lot of people who've signed it are actually not talking Polish uh, very well <laughs> and I want this video to reach out to as many Ion supporters as possible so uh, forgive me uh, it's in English I'll add Polish subtitles for a Polish speaking audience. Stay with me. Let me start with a reminder that uh, whatever you hear or see in this video is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just exploring those uh, technologies on my own. At the same time, I do encourage you to uh, learn more about uh, open, uh, public, uh, decentralized networks. I do believe that it's future uh, infrastructure of the financial world. Uh, so do learn more about uh, this space. I think it's pretty interesting and pretty exciting. But this video is just my personal opinion and uh, do your own research, uh, digest more any information which uh, you get uh, from this uh, material. Uh, let me also add that by no means uh, this video is uh, not sponsored by Aeon Network or uh, their partners. Uh, this is just my personal initiative to spread the word about uh, this uh, great project. I'm honored uh, to be in possession of uh, this Ion Pultec uh, plaque. Especially uh, that it's the uh, first anniversary of Ion Pultec. I, I'll tell a bit more what Ion Pultec is uh, in a while. So basically, uh, this is a you know, community driven initiative initiated by Yashnik uh, to basically spread the world about Aeon Network and uh, get all the uh, major uh, Aeon Network team members, uh, miners, and uh, strong supporters, uh, you know, to just. Uh, Put the signature on one nice plaque it's pretty heavy it's like a three kilo i think uh, but who do we have uh, here so all this started <laughs> with i think matthew spoke who is the founder of aeon network uh, there's also kassem frank uh, co-founder of aeon network uh, and uh, co-founder of bicameral ventures uh, which signature is here uh, who else do we have here uh, I don't recognize probably all the names, but uh, I see Sam. Uh, Sam is uh, responsible for strategy at Aeon. We see uh, Yao, uh, who is uh, engineering the Unity consensus mechanism. I'll tell you a bit uh, about what Unity is uh, in a moment. And we have other great names like uh, Aeon J, responsible for administration of the Telegram channel. Uh, Aeon John, I think, doing some uh, stuff for uh, media around Aeon network. Uh, Ali from the engineering team and many many more and just to mention some of the uh, miners, cryptiz, crypto Z, uh, red panda mining, uh, who else? Yashnik obviously and uh, and probably a lot of other uh, names but not, not everyone I can really uh, decrypt <laughs> from this plaque. Um, I think it's pretty cool uh, initiative. I've just left my signature uh, here and we'll be sending this to Austria uh, soon. And uh, okay, so what is this Aeon Pool Tech? Uh, it's basically uh, Aeon Mining Pool, which is a uh, public uh, Aeon uh, Mining uh, Pool. If you are interested, uh, you can join this pool and, and mine uh, in more efficient way, uh, being part of, of this pool. And uh, I think it's more important to mention they are operating for a year already, and they are, I think, at that moment largest uh, ion mining uh, pool which is cool uh, I know that they are very active on discord and telegram so in case you need any support they will uh, react probably immediately uh, on average I think they have like uh, two three hundred miners uh, right now uh, in this pool depending obviously on the cycle 
uh, and and they uh, build like a decentralized uh, let's say mining pool around ion geographically decentralized just to mention that this plug was uh, coming to me from a uh, miner in Sweden, before that it was in Norway, it was in Canada uh, and it will be going uh, all around the you know, various places in the world. So, uh, so there are a lot of miners all around the world for ION which helps this network to be decentralized and I think it's it's fantastic. I'm, I'm not a miner uh, per se, so I, I'll, I'll not uh, you know, tell you detailed instruction how to mine but I will uh, provide the links in the uh, video description uh, so just check it out uh, if you're interested I can also link you with Yashnik and, and I'm sure he will uh, help you to set it up uh, so yeah that's it uh, regarding Ion Pool Tech I, I think uh, they are trustworthy and a good place to start if you want to mine Aeon with your GPU uh, so uh, now let me briefly cover what uh, Unity is, because there are some interesting stuff on the horizon uh, of the Aeon Network roadmap for, for this year, and Unity it is a big change uh, for uh, how Aeon Network is being secured. Unity will be an upgrade to the Aeon uh, consensus protocol. Uh, currently Aeon is being secured by proof of work, uh, so basically by miners. And with Unity, which is expected to be released into production in Q4 of this year, uh, Aeon is moving towards uh, hybrid, so basically proof of work and proof of stake consensus mechanism. I think it's a pretty interesting uh, idea, uh, but first, why are they doing that? I think there are fair reasons to upgrade the consensus mechanism for Aeon Network, uh, but let me start with reminding that uh, this was uh, originally in the roadmap, right? So they, they are basically uh, doing what they have promised uh, to do in the roadmap back in 2017. Uh, but it is a good thing to do. So uh, in my opinion, uh, four reasons for this upgrade are first, basically it improves the security of the network. Uh, right now Aeon is secured only with uh, proof of work, uh, just like Bitcoin. Uh, which is fine, uh, but securing this with a hybrid of uh, proof of work and proof of stake, so miners and stakers, I think will make it even more secure. Uh, so that's the first reason. Uh, the other reason is uh, it will increase the uh, throughput of the network. Uh, proof of uh, stake networks uh, are basically faster, right? So uh, with uh, combining uh, proof of work and proof of stake, ION will have a faster uh, network than uh, purely proof of work uh, probably not uh, as fast we'll see as uh, you know uh, proof of stake networks uh, uh, like EOS uh, which is centralized by the way uh, but it will be a good balance in my opinion between uh, security uh, and uh, uh, basically scalability uh, so increasing throughput uh, is a second reason why this upgrade makes sense Third reason is to make the consensus uh, protocol ad adaptable to the uh, network size and topology. Uh, just to remind you, uh, Aeon aims to be a network of networks, so basically uh, connecting many different networks with bridges, uh, offering uh, spoke networks uh, connected to Aeon hub network. So uh, as the network grows, uh, there will be uh, various uh, projects and companies uh, building on top of Aeon. Uh, and uh, basically topology of the network will be changing and uh, a hybrid consensus protocol which uh, takes the best of proof of work and proof of stake will basically ensure uh, that the network as such is more ad adaptable to the changing parameters of uh, you know various uh, projects building on this uh, various uh, mainnets launching uh, on Aeon network uh, number of users etc so I think that's an uh, uh, important uh, change from this perspective as well. And the fourth reason uh, is uh, to lower the barrier of entry for people who want to start securing the network. Because right now, with just proof of work, basically you need to have a pretty expensive hardware and uh, pretty uh, technical knowledge to start uh, mining Aeon and basically help securing the network. Uh, so eventually may lead to centralization, right? We, we see it in the Bitcoin network that because the, the hardware is expensive and you need to be tech savvy to really set it up, uh, there are big mining pools created and uh, they basically uh, can control the network, theoretically at least. Uh, so uh, 
proof of stake uh, basically gives this uh, chance for uh, people who just own the coins uh, to stake them uh, in some kind of a wallet and uh, start securing the network, uh, produce and sign the blocks uh, and uh, basically uh, behind uh, this, uh, you know, they stake the, the coins as a proof, uh, uh, you know, that uh, they are serious players and they are not bad actors, right? Uh, so uh, those who want to, uh, you know, secure the network and uh, take uh, part in this, uh, uh, let's say, bigger game, uh, they can do that uh, easier with proof of stake than proof of work. Uh, and having both uh, hybrid proof of stake and proof of work gives a chance for. Uh, uh, amateur and advanced uh, players uh, to do that. At the same time, miners uh, uh, are having this additional opportunity, so if they mine a coin, they, they can uh, start uh, staking it as well, so they can potentially double their uh, you know, profits. Uh, so there is no issue of uh, doing both if you want, uh, doing staking and mining. And uh, third re fourth reason, as I mentioned, lowering the uh, barrier of entry basically means uh, the, you will not have to possess huge amount of Aeon coins to start staking, even with small amounts you will be able to do that. Uh, so uh, big players, small players, everyone can join and produce the blocks and basically secure the networks. I think it's pretty cool. So, so uh, Unity, that's the name for the hybrid uh, consensus protocol, works the following way. So basically miners and stakers, they're producing the blocks uh, concurrently. And uh, depending on uh, whether you are a miner or a staker, so if you are a miner, uh, you know, the more hashing power you have on your machine, you know, the more chances you have to be uh, selected to produce uh, the block. If you are a staker, uh, similarly, uh, the more coins you have on your wallet, the uh, better chances that uh, you will be selected to uh, produce uh, the next uh, block. Uh, so, uh, not a, not, nothing unusual here. Uh, all starts. Uh, Okay, we have the same blocks, right? So miners and stakers, they pro pro produce uh, the same block, uh, which is supposed to be attached uh, to the chain. Uh, and uh, there is a random function, which selects uh, either uh, the next block to be attached to the chain is coming from the miners or from the stakers. Uh, so random functions ensure that no one can control it. Uh, it's uh, cryptographically secured. And uh, you never know if uh, uh, your block, uh, either your miner or staker, will go to the chain. Uh, so the random faction selects, okay, this time I'm taking the block produced by stakers and up attach it to the blockchain. Next time it may again select a uh, block uh, produced by stakers and attach it to the uh, chain. Uh, and the next iteration, uh, Winner, winner may be the miners, right? So the uh, block coming from the miners is being attached to the chain. Uh, so basically, on average, we should have probably 50% of the blocks uh, from the miners and 50% from of the blocks uh, from the uh, stakers. But you never know upfront uh, what basically makes uh, any kind of attacks on this network even more uh, difficult uh, because you have to be running. Uh, both a pretty a significant mining pool if you are a bad actor and uh, be owning a huge amount of uh, Aeon coins as a staker and basically try to attack uh, a network uh, which uh, you probably wouldn't want to do that at that stage uh, because uh, you are kind of uh, almost like an owner of this network if you manage to gather uh, that amount of uh, hashing power and coins. Uh, so hybrid uh, seems secure, uh, we'll see uh, how fast it is in Q4 once it's released uh, on mainnet and I'm pretty sure that uh, after that uh, we'll see many of the applications being released on the mainnet who have been wa wa waiting for uh, this uh, upgraded consensus uh, protocol as well as for the ION uh, virtual machine which is the uh, recently released uh, Java virtual machine. Uh, on top of AI network. So uh, stay tuned. So just to end up with a short update regarding developments which are happening on top of AI network. Uh, one is uh, QCAD, uh, which is a stable coin. Stable coin uh, built on top of AI network. So being basically token on top of AI network, uh, pegged one to one to a Canadian uh, dollar. Uh, QCAD uh, is being developed by Stable Corp. Uh, and uh, if you look up, uh, you know, uh, founders and leadership team of uh, Stable Corp, you'll notice how serious this team is. Uh, just to mention uh, Jean Dassange, I hope I <laughs> pronounced his name correctly, but Jean uh, is in the financial and banking business since 1994. 
you know, being uh, on the senior uh, and VP positions for UBS Bank, uh, TD Bank, uh, Bank of Montreal, uh, recently also the CEO for TMX, which is the uh, largest stock exchange in Canada so this guy is basically for sure knows what uh, he's doing and, and, and uh, basically has a strong knowledge of the whole ecosystem of uh, finances uh, and uh, with his stable corp I think they're going to do something amazing with uh, a Canadian dollar uh, you know being offered as a stable coin on top, on top of Aeon uh, network so uh, stay tuned for that I think it may happen uh, either later this year or early next year. Uh, Jean de Sange recently also uh, joined uh, Bicameral Ventures, so uh, the company I've described before, the Aeon Ecosystem Builders, uh, as the strategic advisor. So him being a CEO of uh, uh, Stable Corp and uh, advising and being probably also investor in the Bicameral uh, Ventures, I, I think is a serious uh, stuff. And, uh, I guess they are building some major infrastructure for uh, Canadian financial ecosystem. So I'm thrilled to uh, see how it evolves. And one more project I wanted to cover is VeryTX. Uh, and VeryTX is a platform for digital supply chain. So they want to offer uh, 3D printed uh, parts uh, with focus on aerospace. So either new parts or uh, malfunctioning parts, uh, when they need to be, you know, delivered uh, quickly, then VeriTX will uh, provide a marketplace for ordering and uh, printing such uh, parts. Uh, they are building on uh, Aeon blockchain as well. Uh, I think uh, for security reasons, uh, blockchain is a good choice here. Uh, and. Uh, uh, James Reganer, uh, who stays behind this uh, project, uh, he has been working for Moog, which is a huge uh, aerospace company uh, from the Fortune uh, 500. So uh, uh, I think uh, he comes with the right expertise. He is also part of the Mavenet team, uh, so working uh, on uh, expanding Aeon ecosystem. And VeriTX will be an interesting platform, uh, pretty innovative and combining all the nowadays technologies like 3D printing, uh, blockchain and uh, Industry 4.0 supported with, uh, you know, uh, lean supply chains. So uh, I'm excited to see how this one uh, comes to fruition as well. So I guess it's time to say goodbye to this nice Aeon uh, Cooltech plug. Uh, thank you, Yashnik, for uh, giving me a chance to sign this. Uh, with uh, all the other, you know, names of Aeon Network. Uh, that was a nice uh, journey. <laughs> uh, it goes to Austria right now. And uh, yeah, we uh, keep in touch. Uh, let me know if you uh, like this video, either thumbs up if you liked it or, or thumbs down and comment if you didn't like it. Uh, put your uh, questions and suggestions in the comment section uh, below uh, this video and uh, subscribe uh, or unsubscribe uh, depends uh, either you think this content is relevant for you have a great day